You identified the silos and the problems that are going on with that in your report. And one of the key things is I've been working with our workforce uh, boards and uh, North Central and other uh, organizations that are concerned with workforce development. Uh, has to do with those silos. What's your impression on how Lean or Six Sigma could be implemented to help those agencies start working together to eliminate those silos and to uh, improve the processes. I know uh, when we were talking about consolidating five different departments here, uh, nobody knew what Lean or Six Sigma were, and uh, now the governor's working on that, but uh, across the agencies. But we've got not just things like DCED or uh, others, but we've also got some associated agencies that are not, or that are quasi-governmental, uh, quasi-state agencies. What are your thoughts on how we could implement that, or do you have any suggestions on how we could implement something like that? Uh, I've, some, one of the things that I think is to be avoided is beware creating more bureaucracy yes. to look after more bureaucracy. So sometimes our the solution is let's create another office. And 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 again, I'm not saying there isn't a time in our in the future of the world where another office may be necessary, but this is not one of them. Well, if if I can clarify, that's not where I, oh, I no, wasn't no, I suggesting know. adding something. What I was suggesting is having some of our people in all those different agencies be certified right. and trained so that they can start, when they are doing their collaborations, that they can start looking at tearing down those walls. I, I, and I think this is to some degree happening, although it's important that this continue. The best way for this to happen in our structure in Pennsylvania is that somebody in the governor's office is just tasked with riding herd on this and not putting up with any of the nonsense and the squawking that and look, we all know we, you, you got to hear Amen. something. Joe's going to say this and Sally's going to and you listen and and, you know, and, and some of that stuff can be important. But somebody just has to ride hard on it and just let it be known. And I think the governor through his executive order shows that, you know, they're invested on this. But just show the governor and his administration are not going to put up with people sticking in their silos. And if there is, there's going to be repercussions for those individuals, because I do think the talent is there right now to make this happen. I agree. And uh, that is something that I would like to see. Like you said, we need somebody that's going to actually ride herd, as you said, on it. But it has to be a priority, and it has to have, we have to have somebody definitely assigned to it and make sure that this is driven forward and looking at implementing some of these processes to help eliminate the duplication and the just walling things right. off.